Like Ganon and Wind Waker? Yeah. Alright, final woe time. Bad boy. Yep, we're going here. Oh, like a boss. Indeed. Yeah, get ready for like massive story dump by the way, because they, they go wild in this world. Yeah. Back. Nice. That was a good start. Let's go, come on. I don't remember how to do this good. You're, she really does not want to go. Okay, no, I'm restarting. That was awful. <sighs> Sometimes. Oh, this is definitely fun. I can't see if I'm seeing this at the background. <laughs> and also dramatics. Nice. Oh, sick! Nice! Run! That that is an A. There's go. no way. B by two seconds. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see if the game says screw you. Yay! Meteor. Nice. And dive wing. That's. And we got the dive wing for infra infra Sora. Yep. Right, I'm just gonna let this cutscene play out because th there's Wait, massive plot on this... here. First of all. Where are we? Where are we? Huzzah! Is the organization's world sleeping too? No, it, it can't be. I know I definitely found the seven keyholes already. So I've got to be awake again and in the real world. But why here? Oh, what's the matter, sleepyhead? Who's there? Show yourself! We jumped through Where's a the song I just here. Mm -hmm. Sorry. But it looks as if it's gonna pay off. You're part of this? Hey, let's hit these plot points in order, Sora, <coughs> Roxas. First, you must be wondering about your revised itinerary. Why am I here, not back home? The answer's simple. I mean, and you'll see a lot of place. <laughs> I okay. <laughs> your slumber party before it started, and ever since we've been both your companions and your constant guides. Before it started? The man in the robe. And so that guy in the black coat. And Xemnas. <sighs> Bingo. You were able to go back in time to just before your home became a sleeping world. Only because a past version of you already existed there. And I, I think the elemental order got the A went away, so. <laughs> Mr. Robe guy. Yeah, yep. He was there then to make sure you ended up here now. That's ridiculous. It sure is. It's too perfect. Who'd ever be there? Oh. Which is why you idiots never saw it coming. You thought you were off doing some kind of test, right? Well, test this. How come you're wearing the same clothes if you're already back home? You are not gonna wake up, okay? Look, there's no real versus dreams anymore. There's this. Oh no, no, no. Don't, don't give me aggro. Hey, aggro. <laughs> I see. Fair enough. So what? At least I know who to blame for it. Ooh. 
I see you still got that angry look down. But here's where I tag out. I got just a few more hoops I gotta jump through. Come with me. Oh god. Yep. Pleasant dreams, kiddo. <laughs> Welcome to screwing with Sora's mind. I want to just look at Acephos again. Yes. This was where it started. At this point, I still had no idea that I was talking to myself. He cast away his bodily form just to set me on the appointed path. What do you mean? Come on, Mia, get more of something. That is Xehanort, reduced to just a heart. The being you and your friends called Anson. Whoa! Hi. Uh. Ah! Spooks. Him. Is that? Yes. The point in time that Zigbar mentioned. Me. Right before my world was swallowed by the darkness. To move through time, you must leave your body behind. Ansem first sent me on my way and then placed himself here when the time was right. That is what set all these events in motion. What are you saying? That he knew everything that would happen? No, not everything. But remember, Anson possessed Riku and saw his experiences in real time. So? That could only tell him so much. How did he know I would be here today? Simple. Kyrie! Those are my shoes. Mm -hmm. What is? More of the servants. You've been here many times. Your first journey, your voyage through memories, uh, it hurt? in the datascape, in your dreams, relived again and again. Please hold the anchor off me. So, like so I would, have, would only know about two of those, but okay. King Mickey? I like how Sora just can't make up his mind of who to chase. You having fun back there, Malus? And now, uh, force drop time, I believe. Yep, you gotta go and play as Riku now. I think it's Sora, yeah. Oh, so I can do the link attacks uh, 
Okay, okay. Dog break? I want to get that. Okay, uh... I'm worried on how I'm going to do over there. <laughs> Alright, this is fine. Oh, we're just in Travis Town. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, we're here. Uh, I think we're just uh, fighting enemies until we dropped, because there was literally nothing else we could do as Riku. Ah! Alright, uh, it's not area I can go. Oh, what the hell? Now to do the final drop in the game. Dive. Yeah, dive. Okay, uh, please just be a travel one. Because I, I... I just want that. Yes, please. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I would enjoy these a lot more if they were just this. Because I, I don't like the fights at all. I mean, you can tell that these were designed around the 3DS in mind, but still. Not much else I can say about these sections. I'm gonna die. Those guys are gonna say yay. <laughs> go, go, go. I don't care about any of this, just go. Run away. Right. Stop blinking. Yeah. Ah. Ah. <laughs> nice. Oh, I love this music. Where am I now? Why am I here? I unlocked all seven keyholes. So I should be back in the world I came from. Or you're not. Nope. Uh, this is a really cool reality shift, by the way. It, it, it's very rem reminiscent of like Kingdom Hearts 2. And also, also, Bolster Attack happened. Now I gotta see what that scene. Icebreaker. You buy that? I can just, I can sell something I don't need. Uh, confusion strike, not gonna use that, I guess. Uh, I can use original fire. Or bl uh, blizzard. Uh, I just wanna get enough to uh, get um, whatever the thing was. Icebreaker. Alright. Let's see. Uh... Right, leap above enemies and rocket toward them three times. Generating shockwaves and the final impact. That sounds cool. Then go break the shit, the slams. Hmm. The jump slams. Yeah. Oh yeah, Meteor as well. Oh, that's Riku only. Why did I get it with for? Why, why did I get it when I was Sora then? <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. Uh, game you make no sense sometimes. Alright, I'm definitely gonna want to have these dark moves. Shadow Breaker. 
Alright, uh, I think I know what to do. Uh, put these down here. That should work. Alright. So, uh, yeah, we're in the world that never was. And we also, okay, I need to, I, I need to turn my keyblade on. But, this is my favourite final world in the series, like, it does basically everything I'm looking for in a final world. Um, it has, um, at this point, this, these are like the toughest enemies in the game, um, and, um, I think it has some of the most interesting level design in the game. With, uh, with Sora, Sora goes through like the um, the city. Yeah, he go, he Sora goes through like the city area, and Riku goes through the the nobody castle. Um, and I I really love the music. I think it has a um, a good sense of like tension and just. Kind of sounds kind of melancholy, um, and it's like an. Uh, people have described it as like a aftermath of uh, of uh, Kingdom Hearts 2's World That Never Was, um, and yeah, I don't know. It, it's, it's like it feels foreboding and melancholic, but like, and you know that. Like, Something bad's gonna happen, but you just wanna keep going. If that makes sense. And it, it just does everything right. It's, it's it, it, it might be my favorite world in the game. Alright, I'm just I'm really focused. You're done. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Take this. Yeah, fire. I Nice. Icebreak is like Shadow Breaker. I, I yeah, only I'm... ice. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now you have these things. Alright. So you cut these. And you get this. <laughs> they are! Oh boy. You might be in trouble, Harry. Mm. Okay. I had to leave. Wait, what? My mom and my mom has dinner. Oh. Are you going yeah. out? Going out? We're going to my brother's. Oh. Now? Yes. Damn it. I know. Just get, get to the save point if you can. Right there. Yeah. Whatever. All right. We'll have to cut the session off short. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh well. I know. We were all we we're almost done. Sorry, I told you twenty minutes. Twenty-five minutes ago. Ah. Uh, bye. Goodbye, friend. Bye. I guess. Anyways, oh. that that part is going to be cut off because spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, I think I remember getting, yeah, double impact. We're back. Yeah, we're back. Sorry, um, I said I to get cut off last time. Yeah. But you hear me unwrapping something, that's me, that's me with my Switch version of Mega Man 11. <laughs> oh yeah, Mega Man 11 came out. Yeah, that's today. Yeah. It's probably not a game I'll be playing for a while, but... Still. Well, you need to finish the rest of the classic series. That and I uh, actually get them as well, <laughs> which I don't. I don't know when I'll do, but still. you should at least. You really should get the uh, legacy collections. Yeah, I, I should at some point, but money's kind of tight right now. 
If it helps, they're, they're cheaper. Yeah. Ah. I think the retail price. Yeah. I mean, Kingdom Hearts and uh, Smash Bros is already a lot of money off my table, so... And that's like, yeah. th those games are must, like day one. Oh, totally. Yeah, pre-order pre or bust. <laughs> yeah. I can wait on Mega Man. Because I've enjoyed the games I've played, but they're not like day one must plays for me, personally. I only wanted to like, no, I, I, I'm just, I just really like Mega Man. That's, you know, me and Hover are both really big fans. Yeah, I, I do like the series, yeah. I wish I was a bit more into it, I and mean, not me like Hub is, but still. Yeah, uh, Hub and Lewis are really big into Mega Man. Mm -hmm. I can see, I can see the appeal, and again, I've enjoyed the three games I played, but, you know. Alright. Not my favorites. And for the for the sake of for the sake of our for the sake of the actual uh, playthrough, I'm not gonna play the game now. Fair enough. Although I will update. I see if there's an update. Yeah. And these are uh, yeah these are not these guys are not gonna not gonna mess around. So watch it. We are in the final area. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was, I was gonna. Talking about something else, go on. I was gonna say, um, I, I just finished saying one more quick thing about Diablo Chronicles 2. I was in, I'm in New Game Plus. <laughs> Which means, and, I ha and there are benefits. Oh, nice. Like, I carry up all carry all the blades and items and such I had. Hmm. Although it creates, creates a little bit of a disconnect when I see Mithra suddenly right there at the start of the game. <laughs> uh, man. It's like. Why are you here? Why am I playing a Crabble? Mi is Mithra the one with the, uh... Red the blonde one? hair. Oh, the blonde hair, okay. Pyra is the red hair. Okay. Yeah, she was the one in the trailer or something. The one with Torna? Yeah. Yeah. And Dark? she's more powerful than Mithra. Huh. Dark Break doesn't seem to be doing that much damage. I don't know if I want it. Hmm. Let's change it. No, it's drop. <laughs> uh, you've done wrong move. You ever done that? Uh, not to my memory. Okay. Uh, so it's Zero Graviga. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll just say this quickly. New game plus benefits include, uh, carrying, carrying most of your stuff from, from before, and, uh, yeah. New blades that are exclusive to New Game Plus. Yeah. Including the me including the members that the Tsuri and the Mars ca and characters. Hmm. Yeah, he designed characters for the game, which is kind of. He designed cool. all the bad guys. Yeah, he does a lot of character designing for games. Yeah, and I like his, I like the I like the designs they have for them. Very down to earth. Do we come back here? Cause I forget how to get this. Chest. You had to turn it off. Move on forward before you die. Oh man. Um. And some special over blades. Hmm. Like. Oh, by the way, um, without saying too much, the villains in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 are actually one of my favorite bunches of villains ever. Oh man, yeah. Xeno, without giving like saying too much, I Xenoblade is does a really good job in uh, just having good twists. Cause like, and unless you look them up or whatever, like you'll you, you'll have to be like a a, a, a a god or something to like find the twists coming. Cause they are really good. Like they catch yeah. you off guard. Although I got one, although one a without, again without giving names, the I, the that's a villain in one. Man. It's like you he, he eventually comes off as the generic around the end. Yeah, but it's like not at least it's not high death by Ganon. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it it's like from from the start of the game, you think it's gonna be a simple good versus evil story, but it's a lot more complicated than that. Yeah. And I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, and two, it's um, uh, for one thing, all the villains, including the guy who's supposed, including the well, they mentioned it in the uh, 
They, they mentioned it in the uh, in the direct about the about about Malos. Yeah. Um. No, oh, nice. They said um. Mount Malice is the uh, the Dark Aegis, basically. <laughs> nice. And he and his group are actually like a, like a really good group in terms like they actually like are allies. Mm, okay. And Mount even Malice is this big ultimate like the bring of destruction. He he respects his group. Mm, okay. He has a motive, and that I can get that, and that that's understandable. Yeah. I like those he's like he's doing of... what he actually believes is the right option. Yeah, I like those kinds of villains more than just generic. I want to take over the world because screw you. Yeah, or or not no, not even that, not even that. It, it destroy the world because lol. Which... Yeah, because like, when they or, actually, or I have to do it. Yeah, I like it more when they actually have a motive and feel like it's the, they're doing the right thing. Or or what they believe is the right thing. They're yeah. The, you know, the justifier means. Yeah, and it's like... The dif um, difference usually being is that... Um, they, they will, like, put, uh, put others in harm way harm's way just to see their goals full f uh, go through or whatever. Right, right, and even, like... When I was, was like, I was with Malos, he wasn't even, uh... I can't... I, well, I, no, actually, I'm gonna stop there. Okay. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I because I can't say much about the members of Torna yeah. after that. But yeah. I'm giving up super spoilers. Keep a tiger. That's interesting. Uh, but um, I've been getting better at being uh, better at my spoilers. <laughs> uh, I I was gonna, I I mean I was gonna kind of um compare this kind of topic to like Star Wars, I guess, where it's like in a lot of ways um. Both the Jedi and the Sith are, are in the wrong in some way. It's just that the the way the Sith are going about it is like that that they, they aren't against just putting races in harm's way or whatever and just being doing selfish stuff, which is like the just a general like difference between the two sides. It's or it's also when you consider religion in the religions. Yeah, it's a, it's like Jedi and Sith are like the two extremes of, uh, two opposite sides. Mm-hmm. Double flight. Double flight. Double jump, basically. Uh, but, like, it's like... Oh, God! <laughs> um... I don't like being in this little area. Yeah. Uh, I... I think it's replacing jump. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Okay. It's Riku only. That's interesting. I mean, I guess Riku doesn't have glide, so... Oh! Yeah. Hey, it works. <laughs> I also just really love this um, um, reality, reality shift. shift. Yeah, it, it just a anything where you see Sora and Riku working together like that just feels so satisfying. Speaking of which, actually, I think at one point we should really make sure Sora finishes first. Hmm. I guess. Yeah, I know what you're because talking about. You know what happens to him. Yeah. What? I'll be right back. Okay. No, actually, I'm gonna move this over to my phone. <laughs> uh. Alright. Throws yeah. own, leveled up. Nice. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, we're just being safe. Sorry, right, my dad. Hey, my dad wants to make some coffee. Okay. Man, I wonder right. if we can do the secret bus without balloon rot. <laughs> no. We'll try, but no. I'll give it one try, maybe. Here's the thing. Um, well, here's the other thing. We're, we're not we're not even close to ready to the level. No. And here's the other thing, that boss sucks. <laughs> I think you quoted it as the worst boss. It's probably my least favorite boss in the series. Oh! I don't think we've hit any save points, so. though. Yeah. 
We die, we're going for a massive room. I don't like things. Oh no, oh no, these guys, I, I hate these guys. I don't like things either. Alright. Play it safe with these guys. I can't move. Not that we can Oh, we're. Oh my goodness. Christ. Oh, we're in the, oh, we're in the middle of a reality show. Or, uh, um, Link. Yeah. <laughs> the circle is really good. I, has, I like the I like the range on it. Yeah. Oh jeez. Ow. Then it wants to do this thing. Yeah. Oh, Bunny's almost dead. All right. Now we're gonna show it, but not, if you if your dream meter is out of health. You have to rush over to it quickly and try to revive it. Yeah. I bet you that's gonna happen and at some point during the critical run, but... That's neither here nor there. Yo, it's gonna happen all the time. Yeah. Uh, so... They kinda want you to do this, like, huge platforming section, but we have flow motion, so s screw that noise. <laughs> I was gonna say, what? there's no point in normal platform when you have flow motion. Yeah. Cause, like, they have these red wall things. To make you, the stop you from using it, but you can just use the walls from the side. So like what? Dark splicer. That I think I remember that being really good. Uh, let's see what it is. I just put it over. Let's put it over shadow breaker. Let's see. All right. Uh, Dark splicer. Shoot magic. Uh, is, uh, I think it was an attack. Yeah. There it is. Two slots. Re two slots. Stop an enemy in its tracks and then warp around it as you point. Yeah. I think it's kind of like time splicer from Birth by Sleep. Uh, okay. I don't know what the it was. Um, you can you kind of just uh, warp around enemies constantly and do a bunch of damage. All right, mom. Why is there any coffee down here? Okay. I'll put over these, I guess. It's like I'm remembering that. I've because for some reason I'm remembering the uh, the final hit of the ghost run. Yeah. I think there's another chest here. To be honest, with these red slow motion walls, it comes to you something like this a lot more. Yeah. For you know, easily abusing it. Yeah. Cause that that we went back. We went backwards, didn't we? Didn't we? Oh no, it's right. Yeah, that that was a whole like side area. Optional. Yay. But like. Yeah, I'll finally th exit. <laughs> There's um, there's a lot of just platforming areas in this game where like you can tell that they've specifically designed an area around all the these different things you have to jump around, but you can just flow motion it, so who cares? <laughs> Oops. Alright. If you could do this, oh, why would you? Yeah. Which is why uh, limiting its uses in Kingdom Hearts 3 is a is a really smart idea. Yeah. Oh, jeez, no. Yeah, okay, this is what happens. Okay, we're good. I don't like this. Oh, nice. By the way, they can get, go right back into that today, like, any second. <laughs> yeah. Like, almost now. There we go. Uh, at, least it was a good, at least it was a good time for that to happen. Yeah. Guess it never happened to me before. Uh, yeah, because uh, I just got a trophy for it. Is it this way? No. <laughs> what was the trophy called? I was looking. Uh, Lifesaver, I think. Wait, you... Oh, yeah, you're almost Stupid. dead. Yeah, I mean... Ow! <laughs> the boot. It's like, screw you, Riku. Uh. Nice. Bye, Riku. Riku. Oh, by the way, Just a Pancake actually did a video on, uh... Yeah, Black Chronicles 2. <laughs> <laughs>
Nice. A very brief one, mind you. <laughs> but a video nonetheless. Yeah. I was just joking with Jin. Huh? And the joke is that Steven is more a character. Mm. Whoa, I, I did that by complete accident, nice. <laughs> Hit by mashing. <laughs> But I, I, I said br uh, briefly last time before we had to call it um, that uh, this is my favorite final world in the series. Like, I think it does basically everything right. Yeah. I mean, I, I can I can see that. And I, th I still will prefer end, end of the world from the uh, story perspective. Hmm. In some well, in, in, well, I mean, like in a sense of like you can see the threat of the heart look. I I suppose, yeah. All right, give, give me a sec. All right. I'm back. All right. Plus, I like the music. Plus, I, I still I like remember the music really fondly in that world. Yeah. Like how? Like... I I really like the battle theme in the world. That that's probably that probably uh, end of the world probably has the best, like bow, uh, final world battle theme. But um. Da -da -da, da -da -da. You know, it's a, it's a remix of the. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I, I don't know. For for me, like I I like this one more more for what it means for this game specifically, and just like uh, what Kingdom Hearts has been leading up to in general. Uh, and I feel like I, like there's a there's a lot of like high hitting story beats here. Um, like crap's gonna go down very shortly. Um, and I I I really I really love the uh, the world music. Like it just. It just has this great feeling of feeling kind of melancholic and foreboding at the same time. And right. I it, it just it, it just works really well. I don't know what else I can say really. Pretty long too. Yeah. Don't know why I'm doing okay. this. It's a final world, so it should be long. Yeah. Cause I, I I've heard people like say it sounds like kind of an like an aftermath of Kingdom Hearts 2's world that never was. Cause like the original, like the original organization is pretty much dead. Right, Chris so, or Enrico. Yeah. But like yeah. But um, I think both. Both this and End of the World do a good job of just feeling, having a good feeling of finality. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's also just really satisfying to see how far Riku has come. Also, how about that? We're actually on topic and keeping the conversation going on the rest of the game. <laughs> well, I did want to talk about this world a little bit. Right. And I... I mean, uh... uh... Also in the gameplay sense, I appreciate that it's, um... with two different worlds, type of worlds. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, it's like, um... Sora goes through like the uh, general like sit city area, whereas like Riku like goes one or from one two rather. Yeah, which is right here. We're back in the castle itself. Yeah, Riku's like in a castle area because like, in, in Kingdom Hearts two you could kind of see the city in some areas, but you can never really go there. Right. So it's kind of nice. Where do we go? Yeah. Um. I'm a little lost actually. Oh, it's just over there, I guess. I don't remember this room too well. What? Some chess? No, I don't care. Oh, there's drones! <laughs> what drone is hitting you? Yeah. But I, 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 I've, 
I said, I, I basically said my piece. Like, what's your general, like, feelings towards this world? This world doesn't exist. Huh? It never was. <laughs> Goodness. I, I like it, although, like, the difficult thing. Like, one problem I have with it is how, like, as much as I set praise and difficult. Oh, I think it's right up there. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. I, I know when, where the boss it's is. here, and I really think we should switch. Yeah. Well, I, I know I know where the boss is gonna show up. What should we have seen? Um. What when it send us back to the last uh, transition? Wait, if we drop? If we die? Sure, well, I guess the case recording goes wrong. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Anyway. Thirty-five. We're almost gonna drop we anyway. Actually, actually, yeah, we are on the level because the world, the recommended world, is forty. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Bulls are still, let's go. We're gonna die at a final boss. Oh, we're gonna die at some point, I guarantee it. Well, we have died. Well, in this world, I mean. And okay, I'm surprised we haven't died. Speaking of which, uh, we should actually, like, look at this stuff. Let's see if we can get anything for Riku, I guess. Ice go oh, right, we never actually got stuff from Frozone. Oh yeah, we just made him, and then just, like, everything else happened. Oh, there's a door down there. Yeah. What's that? Okay, we need to feed Vanilla, because these things are expensive. Paragover, that's what you're after, isn't it? Yeah, and, uh, kind of curious about deep yeah, freeze. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about it. I don't know if I ever got that. Wait, okay. But we didn't check out, um... Um... Lotto. Oh, right, yeah. Hold on. Just eat all of it. Yay! <laughs> Feed. Eat. Oh man. Eat. <laughs> Slider. Slider. Do 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 do. Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Eat him. Oh man, I can't wait to start Mega Line 11. <laughs> and Super Mario Party is actually like. Wait, is Super Mario Party out yet? Hmm. I might just start stuff for like my birthday or something, I don't know. No, I want vanilla to eat the cake. Why? Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Tuesday. There we go. Yeah, the fifth. Oh, okay, so Friday. Yeah, this Friday. All right. Whoa. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the slider thing was this. Blizzard Blues and Blizzard. I'm a little worried that. With how the game's gonna not... turn out. Yeah. I am a little bit. Because it hasn't gonna be had the best track record so far. No. <laughs> Been going downhill since 8. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say 8. Yeah, eight's the what when it started going downhill. It's like it's the original formula. Yeah. We can get God. Them. Yeah, we don't have God, do we? Hmm? We don't have God. Uh, I don't really care about that, though, because it's not really that well, good. Well, I mean, we should show it off. I guess. Oh, we have enough for the uh, secret, so... Oh, uh, fair, <laughs> fair enough. Uh... Awesome! Oh, uh, we can't do anything else, I guess? No. Alright. Oh, man. Uh, Alright. I'm, I'm not gonna keep this on, I'll just put over Zero Gravigra, I guess. Alright. Yeah, we're just gonna throw it, put it back, then probably drop. Yeah. 
There's like, there's like a whole section here, and then you go up some flow motion pipes, and then there's the boss. Not far off. No, it's just a couple areas. So I'll just... Let's see if we can just have an enemy to test it on. Yeah. So you just do... Wait, what? It's blue and rough. It happened. I... It happened. I thought you just did one balloon. It's too late, you guys, because they didn't grab that chest. <laughs> Try it again. Yeah, okay, we're gonna drop soon. Try it again, right here. I can find an enemy. Just do it quickly, guys. Just do it quickly, we don't need to drop anybody. Oh! oh it can hit somebody. I... okay, I thought it was just that giant balloon. It's interesting. Not as good, though. No. Right here, isn't it? Or right, right up there? Um, I get out of the way before the- I get out of the way before it um, drop. <laughs> oh. Let me pet you! W was someone killing me? Well, uh, let's go down. What's the motion turbo? Increases the- Oh, uh, just how much okay. damage. That's fine. That was so later, um... I, you know, I don't want that, uh... Defense game? Yeah. Hmm, yeah. Oh, you're gonna do a lot of Riku. <laughs> uh? Alright.